give us um, the location of where we are and what happened this afternoon? Yeah, we're at um, Buck Creek Park uh, here in Clark County. Um, so there was a missing persons report out of Dayton, Ohio. Uh, that investigation for missing persons, uh, Miss Jeffries led us here to Buck Creek Park. A uh, vehicle was recovered, uh, was located and recovered here um, in, the, in the lake. Um, when the recovery crews brought the vehicle out of the water, uh, Miss Jeffries remains missing. Uh, she was not found with the vehicle. Uh, we're continuing to investigate the area uh, with the dive teams. Uh, we'll be out here for the, the next several hours, and uh, once it gets dark, we'll be back out uh, tomorrow morning, assuming, um, well, depending on what we find tonight. Any idea Any, of how old this person was? Um, we do know. I, I don't know offhand, yeah. But like I said, it, it is connected to um, the missing person's case on Miss Jeffries um, out of Dayton. Any idea how our vehicle had down? Unfortunately, no. Um, that remains under investigation. Um, you know, our crews, um, investigators, they're you know mapping the scene, um, and the dive team. You know, based on the evidence they're able to recover, um, we're going to try to piece that together. Can you advise what department is actually going to handle this case? Uh, so right now, it's still Dayton PD. Um, it's a missing persons uh, reported uh, to their department. Uh, so at this time, uh, they're the lead investigators. Um, but they're receiving help from, of course, the State Patrol and ODNR. Can you talk about how the vehicle is located? Um, yes, yeah, so <clears throat> the investigation led us here. Um, the State Patrol had aerial access, aviation uh, came out and uh, scanned the area using the FLIR technology, and we were able to identify what we believe to be um, a vehicle, and that's when we dispatched the dive team from the uh, wright Pat Air Force Base um, recovery team, and uh, that's when they cut the ice and they found the vehicle. Why were deputies and troopers searching here in this park? Based on the um, investigation of uh, from, from Dayton PD, uh, that's what led us here. There was some um, evidence that would lead us to believe uh, something, that this was a point of interest. Yeah. Do we know why she was over here or could have been over here? We don't know. Yeah, um, all of that is under investigation still. You know. To clarify, this was her vehicle in the water? Uh, this was actually um, her estranged husband's uh, vehicle. That's who it's registered to. Yeah, Miss Jeffries. Yeah. Well, what is Miss Jeffries' first name? I actually don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, I can get it. Yeah. For sure, yeah. But, um, yeah. You mentioned earlier that they had to dig through the ice. Was that, was that a problem? Uh, um, it certainly make, made it more difficult. Um, the dive team reported um, at least three to four inches of ice. Um, they had to use uh, you know, axes and saws to kind of get through it, to break that up so that they could get down there and find out what that object uh, the aviation team identified actually was. Is the missing person believed to possibly be in the water at this point? It, we can't say. Yeah, I mean, she, I can say for a fact that you know she was not found in the vehicle. Um, but that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. If anyone as always happens to know anything about this particular incident, who should they contact? Well, with um, this still being uh, Dayton PDs, um, I would um, I would point you in their direction. Yeah, this is still their case. Um, they're just receiving help from these other agencies. Going forward, do you know if there will be more searches in this park or in the water? Absolutely. Um, Dayton PD, the patrol, ODNR, uh, the Clark County SO will exhaust all of our resources um, until we're confident that this isn't where we need to be any longer and the investigation takes us somewhere else. Will this area, section of the park be closed to the general public? Or? It will be closed for the next several hours and likely into uh, tomorrow morning um, until the investigation at this point um, in this area is concluded. Now, there's some people standing back over there. We've been told their family or they might not know Miss Jeffries. Have you talked to them at all? And if so, what are they saying? Um, yes, we have talked to them. Um, we gave them uh, some information on, on what we've done and what we plan to do in the future. Um, just kind of um, informing them of, of where the investigation is at this moment. Yeah. Have investigators talked to the person who the vehicle is registered to? They have, yes, they have talked to him. Yes. Any signs of foul play? No, I mean, that all is under investigation. Yeah, I guess I can't say no, but it's all under investigation. Okay. Yeah. Any, any idea how long the car had been here? We don't know. Yeah, as soon as um, investigators came to this point, 
Uh, they called for um, the aviation assets. They identified what they thought was the vehicle, and immediately we started working to get that uh, to figure out what it was and then recover the vehicle. Did that search begin this morning here in this water? It did. Okay. It did. Yep. Of hours ago. Can you give us any conditions at the lake right now? It appears to be frozen. It is. It's still frozen um, in a majority of places, except for where we're breaking it up, and the dive team's continuing to keep it broken up so it doesn't refreeze.